During the opening ceremony of the 44th Simeo Council Conference and the 4th ASEAN Meetings of Ministers of Education, or AZED, the Thai Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Korpsak Sabhawasu, during his keynote address, emphasized to the participants of the meeting of the Thai government's curriculum, which continues to stress the sufficiency economy philosophy advocated by His Majesty the King of Thailand, and that the Thai government will focus on making the curriculum more relevant to industry requirement and labor market trends. Why would you want to take the job? It's probably one of the most difficult jobs on earth. Today's world changes very quickly, so people need to continue to update their knowledge and acquire new skills to stay competitive in getting jobs. Therefore, we have training and reskilling courses which have been designed in partnership with industry and employers. We have established lifelong learning centers in every educational area nationwide to create more opportunities for each person to manage their own learning and development. In the Prime Minister's recent message to children for the National Children's Day, he urged that young people be aware of the importance of education and to strive for lifelong learning. This message applies equally to adults and those that are already working. We continue to give high priority to inclusive education, and Thailand reaffirms our international commitment to provide quality education for all. We will continue to work on equal educational opportunities to the disadvantaged, the disabled, and those living in difficult circumstances. Over the years, we have looked at ways to increase access to education by integrating these groups into regular schools, as well as developing wider awareness, understanding, and appreciation of diversity at all levels. Thailand's hosting of the 44th Simeo Council Conference back to back with the 4th Asian Education Minister's meeting, meeting can indicate the importance we give to regional cooperation on education. If we want to move forward to develop this region as one community, and the ongoing cooperation and coordination is very essential. Given the large diversity of the people in this region, educational initiatives for the youth to promote cultural understanding and respect for different cultural identities and rights will surely be a worthwhile investment. By building friendship bond, knowledge, and cultivating a spirit of cooperation, we lay the foundations for a stable and secure future.